It started earlier this year just with tariff talk. Uh, you know, so some uh, things, some commodities went up earlier this year. Uh, we're in a very different industry where sometimes we can change suppliers, we can decontent. So it's affected a little bit. Uh, you know, this next round, we'll, we'll see uh, what happens there. You know, if it, it's at least not the 25%, it's the 10. Uh, but I think everybody's looking to next year just to see uh, if it's really negotiating or if it's something that is concrete. But so far, it, it hasn't been um, horrible, but it, it could get worse if they continue to go out. TJ, we've been discussing how long this uh, trade war could go on for. Jack Ma saying 30 to 40 years. What's your take? Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, make a disclaimer that, that I often am wrong. Uh, I don't think it'll go on 30 or 40 years. Uh, I am a free trade person. Uh, I think most Americans are. Uh, that's not to say I'm against uh, what, what the trade war we're having right now. There needs to be some rectification of, of taking advantage of free trade. I think once the, the, the hot war is over, I don't think there will be a long cold war. I think everybody will realize that all parties are better off uh, when we have free trade. And as a matter of fact, it was President Trump himself that said, if you want to end this thing, let's just drop all the tariffs. And if that ever happened, that would be a boon for everybody. Steve, you know, the president also likes to say that he's a free trader and that the ultimate end game here is tariff-free trade and, and fewer barriers for American companies that are doing business overseas. So can he point to a South Korea renegotiated trade deal and say his tactics are winning? I don't think so. I mean, a lot of people said that the uh, South Korea free trade deal didn't ver do very much in terms of changing the terms of trade with South Korea. Um, the problem, Sarah, with that explanation is this idea of the president being a free trader came much later in explanation. He's talked for many years about uh, tariffs uh, as a way to uh, uh, rebalance this idea of, of trade. And, and just for the record, the idea of the U.S. being ripped off by that half trillion dollar uh, deficit is really not one shared by almost any economist I know. As far as I know, we sent them um, uh, money and they sent us goods. And let me just give you an example. I have two brothers. One has about a $200,000 trade deficit with Germany and one has no trade deficit with Germany. The one who has the larger trade deficit with Germany has two Porsches, okay? Uh, the other one has none. He's quite a bit richer despite having that large trade deficit with Germany.